oh hi guess what i did went to the cinema <laughs> with very severe illnesses and i have managed the cinema in the past for much shorter films um and i've found ways to manage it but this one was taylor swift's concert which was just so long so much longer than i would be able to sit up for but it meant so much to me that i was determined to go even with severe ME and even when I'd not been out of the house for more than an hour in a very long time. So I thought I'd just talk about how I did it. So firstly was packing and getting ready the night before. I packed my earplugs so that I wouldn't be as um, like bothered by the noises. I even, <laughs> I even took a sleeping mask with me because if there were times where like the lights and stuff were, were too intense and it was going to make me you know very sick um i just wanted to have it on hand so i did pack that also i will say with the taylor swift errors tour it's funny that english people are pronouncing it as errors by the way because i think we pronounce it as eras but anyway yeah my friend had warned me that the reputation bit was very stroby and just lights going crazy and she was right it was too much for me and I felt myself getting really dizzy and sick from the lights um I ended up shutting my eyes rather than putting this on which I thought I would do but I liked having this with me just in case I know a lot of people find sunglasses very helpful too just to dim the lights but you can still see through them the biggest thing I did though and the reason that I was able to stay for as long as I did was that I <laughs> I was looking for a cinema with recliner seats but I found one that actually offered something called bed lounges. Now when I saw that I did think there's a chance that I can stay in for longer because <laughs> because me and my friend will be in these bed lounges. We will be in bed so I just have to sit up in the car for however long, get out and into one of the bed lounges which we got into. They were quite hard to get into actually. Um, I felt really bad watching my friend struggle to get into and out of it. But once we were in those seats, it was brilliant. It didn't go how I expected actually. I thought that I would do as long as I can and then when I got sick, I would just, you know, have to leave. What actually happened was um, I did get sick in the middle and I went out. I was, I was supposed to only go out for five minutes, but um, I was so unwell that it was a struggle to move around and get back in i mainly went out because of the nausea and vomiting but i did also take my heart rate at this point and i could see that i was sitting at 152 as my resting rate so i knew that i was just struggling in every way um and this is what i mean where it's not easy for me to push through and do things but sometimes it is worth it because you know i probably should be in bed and i am in bed like 95 percent of the time but occasionally I do stuff because that's my choice. So I ended up missing 20 minutes in the middle where I had to come out. And then the most gutting thing was that I knew that I was going to be sick towards the end. Uh, and there was just, there's just nothing I could do to stop it. And I really tried to time it so that I could come in for the last song, but it, it just didn't work out that way. Um, so we did miss the last song. Um, and at that point I needed help getting out of the cinema um because i've been in there for like two and a half hours at that point well apart from the 20 minute break i'd been in there for two and a half hours um so yeah my friend came with me and i felt so gutted and i i could hear from the toilet when i was being sick i could hear the last song come on and i was just like oh my gosh i felt so bad um but we just put that song on <laughs> I put it on in the car on the way home and then I sent her the clip afterwards because I just found the, the clip on YouTube but yeah back to managing so it really started for me the night before and I've kind of ramped up what I do to even be two days before so two days before I just start resting as much as I can also anything that I need to take with me so preparing snacks like with MCAS and with my other disabilities. I can't even have popcorn in cinema because my swallow is unsafe with certain foods and I can't have popcorn. So I made myself some snacks like two days before, just like set aside what I was gonna take with me. Um, and then the day before 
I did my hair and I actually even put dry shampoo. I normally would put dry shampoo on the day, but I've got to the point now where my energy is so limited, I, I wouldn't be able to, to do that on the day. Yeah, and just spread everything out as much as I could. The Errors tour, I mean, it's completely different to a film. So there wasn't as much pressure to stay, even though I would have liked to. Um, and I wrote down all of the songs so that I knew that if I wanted or needed to have a break or like I was going to be sick or something, I was trying to time it with my set list of the songs. Um, and also, you know, that sort of thing would just be good if you if you knew that you couldn't deal with the strobe lights, you could go out for that section. So yeah, the 20 minutes in the middle that I missed, I didn't think too much of it. I didn't miss a whole lot because, you know, part of the ones I missed were songs that I didn't like. But there was a moment where I felt like I was going to be sick and it was in a song that I really liked. And I was like, no, come on, push through, push through, push through for that one. And then, yeah, at the end, I just, there was no pushing through. Um, but the biggest thing that made the difference was definitely that reclining lounger bed. Like, honestly, it it was so good. So definitely look for that if they have it. Also, you can get your carer a free ticket. So, well, I say free. You have to pay for this card. It's called a CEA card. It costs £6 in the UK. And then it means your carer can go for free or for £6. I paid for the CEA card. So the person I went with didn't actually pay anything. Um, and I paid for it and I think it's really funny because I was thinking about how people sometimes say that disabled people get stuff for free and they're like well off because of it. This trip, because of how it worked out, I had to hire a carer to take me there. I had to hire a carer to be on hand if I needed to leave because um, I just didn't know if my friend would want to leave early, especially if I got sick 15 minutes in. I think my friend would have probably stayed so I hired a carer to take me and I hired her to be on hand for if I needed to leave early as well. Um, so that cost a lot of money, my lounger bed seat cost a lot of money um, and then the CEA card on top so it is not cheaper to have a disability. A normal person would have probably paid £15 for that. I'll tell you some of the prices. Um, so my lounger bed seat was £20, CEA card was 6 and the carer, um, we sort of came to an agreement where uh, I paid her £25 for the night. And if I needed picking up again, I would have paid her even more. So, so yeah, like it wasn't ideal from a money standpoint. But also, I don't have the opportunity to go to, a, to an actual concert. And one of the reasons that Taylor Swift means so much to me is that I wrote my last half of my book to Taylor Swift and ugh, I don't know, it is just one where she's got a lot of songs that mean a lot to me. I haven't been to the cinema in quite a few years, maybe like five years or something. So it's not like I'm going every two months. And if you look at it that way, can I save up for a cinema ticket every five years? Yes. And it was worth it to me. Um, yeah. Normally I'd just leave it there with a happy face of me saying it was worth it but I thought this time I'd actually show you what I mean when I say it's worth it but it doesn't mean it's easy. So this was another time I came back and I was shivering and shaking and fainting collapsing non-stop until I fell asleep at 9.45pm and woke up in exactly the same state and then I was too sick to eat, go to the toilet, drink anything for about over 24 hours. Um, and then the next couple days, I was too sick to do anything, couldn't get up to the door to get groceries, which meant I had no food, I couldn't, I just couldn't do anything. And it set loads of things back beyond even my health, just my whole life. I was completely wiped out for weeks and then months to get back to baseline. But it is still worth it to me because otherwise my whole life would be spent in my bed and I don't want that either. And that's what I mean, it's different for everyone. So for me, it's worth it but it doesn't mean it's easier than for someone who would say it wasn't worth it. My home situation links to this as well. If I lived with other people or had carers 24 seven, I probably would be feeling differently. There are other things as well that people suggested to me that you could do to make this easier. One was bring in fans so that you can cool yourself down if you need to. I thought I was gonna be cold, so I brought a lot of jumpers and stuff instead. Jumper to keep myself like warmer, jumper to go behind my head so that 
if I couldn't hold my head up or something. I'm trying to think what else I did. I feel like that's most of the things. And then also had like the sunflower lanyard as well. So that, I don't know, just in case I'd be questioned about using the disabled toilet or anything. Yeah, so that's how I managed that. <laughs> It's really weird because I feel like oh my gosh I, I managed it and I achieved it and on the other hand I still do feel disappointed that I was that unwell for quite a bit of it um, and then also like medication came into play I took all of my like all of the meds that I could and I had to plan that very strictly and also like regimented I had to stick to this medication routine and be on it and the medication routine started the day before to be well enough on the day. Yeah, I'm trying to think what else I did because I did do a lot to make it manageable for me. Um, but it's hard to think because some of the things I just do without thinking about. Um, the lovely thing was that when I asked about this on my Instagram, a lot of people said they were doing the exact same thing. They said they had like very severe ME and they hadn't been to the cinema for like seven eight nine years but they were making an exception for this which is exactly what i did and i'm so glad i did to have that experience and it's just made me realize that if something comes up again in like a year or so and i want to go again i think i would do it again I, and i won't lie it was really hard like it was such a long time and especially the two points where i was sick like i just felt awful um <laughs> I just felt awful and I think like it's good to be aware that going to a cinema you're not necessarily just going to walk in and be straight at the screen like there is walking to get to a cinema and so if you need a wheelchair or if you need something like that don't be afraid to take it because actually it's harder than you think and especially once you've been out for a couple of hours you're especially probably going to need those things that you usually need because it is it is quite hard on your body um yeah then took everything else that i could like pole socks emergency meds sick bag just had everything with me basically um yeah but it was somewhat doable <laughs> it's somewhat doable and as i say it was so much better because it was a collection of songs and i could leave with a normal film it would be different but me and everyone i spoke to on instagram for this one we all felt the same way because it was just like it doesn't matter if we have to leave at any point it doesn't matter if we leave early it doesn't matter if we head out for like half an hour or however long it just doesn't matter because it's a collection of songs and you can just hop in and out as you need to so actually that was a really good like introduction back to the cinema and i'm glad i did it if i have any more tips i'll leave them at the end but yeah i hope this helps even if just a little bit and I'll see you next week. Bye.